I've known Adam Sandler a long time. We both started out in New York. I think we first met around 1989. That was also the year a miracle happened for me. I was hired by Saturday Night Live. I got the job because my blood, sweat, and tears finally paid off when my father called Lorne Michaels and asked him to hire me. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. Leading up to that job, I was working very hard, developing and directing my own short films. Adam was on an MTV game show playing a character named Stud Boy. <laughs> I would fine tune my scripts, go over my shot list, rehearse with the actors, work into the late hours considering every aspect of my comedic vision. Adam would put on a silk robe and ask contestants to guess what celebrity woman he recently had sex with. <laughs> Both of our early creations are currently up on YouTube and it's really not important which one of them has fewer than 15,000 views. <laughs> There's something about him, you know, his work. It, it, it just, it all, it all feels effortless, it almost seems I mean, I don't want to say lazy because that's not the right word. And <laughs> I, I don't have a better word, so for now, let's go with lazy. <laughs> but under the surface, there's just, there's just so much more to it. I mean, there has to be. <laughs> I mean, how else can you explain a crazy Hanukkah song that's really, yeah, it's incredible. And it's really just a list of rhyming celebrity names, and yet it goes multi-platinum and has become a holiday radio staple that my daughter forces us all to listen to <laughs> after we light the candles every year. It's that Adam magic. I bet if a different famous Jewish comedic actor wrote a way edgier song about, let's say, Yom Kippur, <laughs> his representatives would call it embarrassing and beg him not to release it, even if if they heard that killer opening line, it's time to atone. <laughs> so let's get in the zone. <laughs> Got my dick caught in my zipper. <laughs> and now it is Yom Kippur. <laughs> But you know, when it's Adam, you can't let it bother you, right? I mean, the same way I'm never bothered when people come up to me on the street and go, Sandler, I love you. <laughs> Click, save my marriage. <laughs> I love it. I mean, you see him and you love him. You wanna be his friend, that's the truth. My own son is a huge fan. He's constantly asking me, is there any chance Adam would be in this with you so that people will like it? He's a kid, you know, it's cute, whatever. He doesn't understand how this business actually works. It's not like I can just, you know, corner Adam at some huge event and try to pressure him to commit to doing a movie with me. <laughs> right? Uh, I'd like to conclude by disguising my real feelings under a silly fake accent so I won't seem too vulnerable. <laughs> oh, Adam Sandler! I love you so very, very much. At moments when I'm feeling sad and overwhelmed, Wondering if I have any value as a person or I'm feeling insecure about my talent or lack of it. I know I can always call you and share my feelings in a way I can with no one else. It makes me feel better the same way I feel when I have a chocolate chip cookie <laughs> or a big bowl of fettuccine Alfredo. Congratulations on getting this very special Mark Twain prize.